Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. My name is Vicente, and we are back to another episode of American Horror Story 1984. Uh, if you're drinking along, grab yourself a beer. So far, the season is pretty interesting. I like the uh, dark humor they're injecting to all of the slasher 80s flick tropes, which, of course, they always had their dark humor anyway, so it's a fitting genre. Um, the most memorable thing about the last one was, of course, uh, what's her name's backstory to her previous wedding, where the dude fucking started shooting everyone and then killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself, right? But, uh, we've got some killers lurking around, we got some ghosts in the woods, and I'm interested to see where this mayhem goes. Uh... Of course, like other seasons, this has a strong beginning, but I'm hoping that it can keep its momentum and not go off the rails too much, like a few other seasons have in the past. And it has been so windy and blustery outside that I'm hoping I don't sneeze my head off today. But let's just get into this episode. 1984, episode 3. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that there were killers on either side of the doors. So obviously he's not going to go by the camp counselor's uh, advice and kill the other killer. So I was like, taming him just seemed too easy. He wouldn't stop his murderous ways so quickly. That's not Mr. Jingles. Who the fuck is that psycho? I've been telling you, that's the guy who's trying to kill me! I gotta get my keys. It's like I'm not insane. There's literally two people out there trying to kill us. I found him! Oh. Just gotta get some car. If we split up and make a run for it, the best he can do is just get one. <laughs> <laughs> it's Darwin, man. I'm not gonna die here, okay? I know I can run faster than at least two of you. So let's just say the three people lucky enough to make it meet up at the parking lot. You about to die, aren't you? Like you said, three lucky people, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for being selfish. Don't stop. Are you gonna die because of that? Oh, we actually Sorry, saved him. Up, you can't give up without a fight. That's common coming through that door. Did I think they were in the same room as those other people? <laughs> when the last episode ended, I thought they were all in the same room and the killers were on either side of the doors. Or on either doors on either side of the room. There's shit! Shit! Literally. So Mr. Jingles is a prankster now? Jingle. It was just some fucking pranksters. Happy Jingles Day, douchewads. Some red shirts. <laughs> Are they about to die like right now? We're Mr. Jingles. It's a tradition, man. On the anniversary of the massacre. Fucking towny asshole. Oh. Here we go. Now y'all gonna die. Hey, way too late, wide load. You totally missed it. They were so freaking scared. <laughs> Bye bye, red shirt. Pete, what the fuck, man? That's when you run. Go, Dumbass. Go now. Get to the parking lot. Go. Well, if you're gonna be that stupid, you deserve to die. What's your damage, man? Why'd you kill my friend? Don't say anything until we're back in LA! Oh, nothing that matters, but there's just totally faster than you. No way! Oh. Ah. Fall in the trap? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, that sucks. How'd the girls not fall in that trap? Too light to break through? Another prankster? Jesus, Larry! Oh, I can't piss right. Oh, oh they thought me. it was their other ow, friend. Ow. Now I'm backed up. I can't see shit without my glasses. 
Why don't you wear the glasses instead of those fake ones? I know you guys didn't have to take me. I know my mom paid you. Just let me be a badass for one night. Come on. <laughs> Is he going to let him go? Or maybe he'll feel sorry for him for just a second. Just a second. And then kill him. This man. <laughs> Dude, some of the counselors are gonna fucking kill him, thinking he's a real one. Oh, Mr. Jingles, champion of the man. underdog. You're gonna have to cut that shit from behind. Chad, you probably don't want to hear this. Tis a flesh wound. Your shoulder is being plugged up by that thing. If we pull you off, you'll probably bleed out. Jingles was a vet. He probably dug this up like the ones he saw in Nam. Jesus Christ, what the hell kind of camp is this? Well, he must have dug this up a long time ago and just come back to it, because I doubt he dug it up in the past Where day. Where is everyone? They should be here by now. The boys' cabin. That shit would take away. at least a week to dig up no. if you're one man. It's been too long. Hey, maybe we should just go and get help. And leave everyone here to fend for themselves? Your friends wouldn't bail on you like that. Hey, I'm getting help and bringing help bailing. back as quickly as possible would probably far. be Maybe more we helpful. Get the police to come down here. Go. Why aren't you on the road Go. yet? You were literally stopped for, for a smoke. Thank you. There's killers after us. I need a smoke break. <laughs> Fuck. I'll be back as soon as <laughs> You don't want him to leave. Part of me thought she was up to something. Is she working with a uh, psycho worry. counselor bitch? Nurse Reed is going to make it all better. But I've talked to them all. Gacy, William Bonin, a.k.a. the Freeway Killer. Patrick okay, Curry, Hunter. a.k.a. the Trash Bag Killer. Robert Hansen, a.k.a. the Butcher Baker. Did the increased availability of pornography and the psychic echo of the war in Southeast Asia damage the minds of otherwise good men? Pornography? I fructose corn syrup. I need to study you in your natural habitat. You're not evil, but I need you to come out and kill some more people so I can find out. Girl, you are just as crazy as he is. You've been sitting here. So she let him out all by herself. And here I was thinking it was a counselor lady that was letting him out just so she could kill him again. Girl, you are a killer too, aren't you? Were you made that way by society? Society affects us all. It doesn't turn us all into monsters. Can I help it's what you? you choose to do about it that turns you into Excuse a monster. Me, You've been following me. I'm sorry. It's just... You hear all these horror stories on the news and they always start with a single woman driving alone and that woman ends up in a garbage bag by the side of the road. Oh. Goodness, you have a dark imagination. <laughs> You're just on the money, too. I'm headed to Camp Redwood, too. I almost thought she would steal her car. Or did she just hide her car somewhere? And she's in your back seat. Yep, she's in the back seat. Wait, my legs! What did you give me? Or tranquilizers. She put you in a K-hole, girl. My dying dog, here with you. Don't leave me down here. Don't leave me down here! Ray! Don't move. Please be quiet. She's alive. Bitch, shut the fuck up. There's a real killer. That's why you're a stupid bitch. Now they're on to the nurse. Or they're now on to the not nurse. You're bleeding. What happened? Where's everyone else? Everyone scattered. I got stabbed. Chet was with me, but I lost him. I had to cover myself. But I lost him. To hide. What about Brooke? Last I saw, she was with Rita. Oh, no. But there is no way in hell that I'm going back. Not with two murderers lurking in the goddamn shadow. Fine, fine. Boy, you deserve to die. Like, it's a smart thing to just run and protect yourself, but he even lied about Chet. Chet is in a hole, and he is alive, and y'all could help him. Oh, poor Chet. 
no. You need to stop whining. I, I feel like we're gonna need a real doctor down here to get you off this. Someone's coming. Unfortunately, the real doctor's dead. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry. Ah! It's the kid. Welcome to your own petard, asshole! It's the kid. Holy oh. shit! That was awesome! Uh, that wasn't Jingles. Devil needs his stew. Ray! What the hell? She can't die so soon. See you in another life. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to stall. Haven't you killed her yet? What? <laughs> okay, there's a twist. So everyone wants to kill everyone in this show, basically. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so now she's involved with that killer, but why? She said she hasn't killed her yet, and this entire time he's been going after uh, Roberts. So what is the beef they have with her? Does it have to do something with the wedding? Is she somehow related to... Uh, is she somehow related to her husband who went on the killing spree and killed himself? And now she's like, you're responsible for his death for some reason because you triggered his psychotic tendencies or whatever. Hmm. I'm assuming it has to do something with the wedding and her ex-husband. Or, I guess not technically her ex-husband because they never actually finished the wedding ceremony? But... I'm saying she's related to him somehow. Or maybe she was his ex-girlfriend. And she loved what a psycho he was, and they could be psychos together. <laughs> but... We got some more red shirts in the game, and they're all gone now, too. Um, the pranksters trying to imitate Jingles and cause some mayhem. But uh, Mr. Jingles even let one go. He was feeling sorry for him. He's not uh, killing the innocent underdogs, the outsiders. Well, I guess he could see himself in the kid. But, uh, yeah, I knew that that wasn't going to save him, that he would probably die anyway. And he did. So the slasher has What's-Her-Name for an ally, and Mr. Jingles has Not Rita as an ally, who's just a psychotic doctor who's doing it for the scientific method to study them. But at least she's not a killer. She actually just bound up the other girl. I thought she would have just killed her. But I guess she's not willing to, like, go that extra step to st study her subjects. She won't become one. And thankfully Chet didn't die. As stupid as he is, he's still nice to look at. No more ghosts in this episode, but I figure they'll come into more play later on. We didn't get any of uh, the counselor lady either, so I wonder what she's up to at this point. Is she uh, holding up and getting ready? Arming up for the battle ahead? I can see that. She's probably going to be a tough cookie to take care of. But it seems like all of them are very, like, bad people in some aspect or another. So I wonder what else they're going to dive into. Who else is a psychopath here? But, strong first three episodes. Really enjoyable. Um, it has its own little twists and humor and such. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like this. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.